So I've been getting a lot of messages from people kind of pissed off at me. Um, you know, hey, Father, you're telling me AMC is over. No, I never use those words. I never use those words, okay? People are like, I've been holding all this time, you know. What, do you, what right do you have to say it's over? What right do you have to say this? What right do you have to say that? Okay, so let's sum this up. I have the right to an opinion. You have the right to an opinion. That's what it is. It's called an opinion, okay? <laughs> Opinions are like a-holes. Everyone's got one, okay? So... No one is telling you to do anything. I am not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm not a lawyer. It's not legal advice. I'm just an entertainer. And this video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only. But here's the thing. I have the right to an opinion. <laughs> That's the bottom line. So if you don't like my opinion, okay. That's your uh, right. You have the right to do and feel whatever you want. Man, I'm just an entertainer. But this is the thing. Okay. At the same time, though, I have a YouTube channel and I have a platform and I can use it any which way I want to use it. Right. In other words, if you don't like what I'm saying, change the channel. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. I People have this thing where they feel like I'm forcing them to watch me. I'm not forcing you to watch me. Okay. I'm not. But I'm not going to change my way of thinking because somebody disagrees with me. Look, you have the right to disagree with me. But I've gotten to the point with AMC where I want to really make this so hard. It's so much information that it's so hard to get it in one video. It really is. Um, the question we really have to ask ourselves is, is Adam Aaron, okay, a part of the corruption or not? That's, that's the, the question. That is the question we have to ask ourselves. Now, if, if he's not a part of the corruption and he's this great guy who's all for the retail investor and wants the best for us, then I guess I understand your point. I understand your opinion. You know, leave the guy alone. Stop talking about him. Let him let him do his job. But now, but here's the other side of the coin. Remember, there's heads and there's tails. Okay. The other side of the coin, is he a part of the corruption? Obviously, this is something we can't prove. It's just got to be something we feel. Right? Okay. So what does it mean that he's a part of the corruption? How do I know for a fact Adam Aaron isn't working with the hedge funds? How do I know for a fact that there's some kind of a circle and we're not in it? This is the question, right? And all of these people, you could call them the 1%, whatever you want to call them, okay, are in this big, you know, conference room sitting down together thinking of ways to screw retail. Now, you might say, oh, that sounds paranoid. That sounds crazy. Really? Have you been paying attention to what's been going on with AMC the last two years? Are you paying attention to what's going on with AMC in present day? So, listen. The, the problem with, with everyone is that I get it. You come into something with a certain type of a hope. Just like I did. I came into AMC. I wanted the Moaz. I bought very high originally $53 a share. I don't want to keep repeating it, but I'm just like you. I, I $53 a share. I was looking at, I, I wanted $53,000 a share. I wasn't interested. So that's why to me, the price never mattered. See, a lot of people have ridiculed me. Hey, father, why did you buy AMC at such a high price? It's a very simple answer. I bought it at a high price because the price didn't matter to me. I didn't care. And also I never cared when it went down because I always felt it was a temporary thing. I really, I really, it really never bothered me that much. I, I really didn't lose sleep, sleep over it. I always looked at it as just discount prices, you know, buy the dip, let, let the hedge fund slip. But the thing is, this has been going on now for a very long time. Okay. And on top of that, there are things happen, happening in AMC. See, like that stupid, uh, you know, no limit soldier. He was like, this was never a fundamental play. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. We know it's not a fundamental play, but there were things happening in AMC corporate that have been using retail's money for, 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 you know, basically to save their life. Like they're using the blood. I like to call it the blood trench uh, fusion of uh, the retail investors to keep AMC alive. No, no, no. That, we did sign up for this, man. We did, <laughs> I don't know about you. I am by AMC to have 90% of my shares taken away from me. I... <laughs> Um, it seems like everybody is it just absolutely amazes me how everybody is for this 
I mean, I have to say, when I say everybody, I, I have to say a very large percentage because I don't see anybody boycotting AMC, do you? I don't. I really don't. I can't wait to see the, the protest for the Marine. I want to see how many people show up. I remember a long time ago, you know, I went to um, the SEC website and there was this forum. It was for Citadel's, like, complaining about Citadel. And I remember seeing that there was, like, a hundred complaints. There was, like, a hundred complaints out of how many apes worldwide? I don't know, four to five million or more? I'm saying to myself, why is there only a hundred complaints? I did a protest. One person showed up. Okay? So, w what all of you people don't understand is this. Okay? Okay? It's very simple. You're what's called, uh, you're an easy target. You want me to tell you the truth? You're an easy target. Because what do you think? Gary Gensler, Ken Griffin, the 1%, um, what's his name? Adam Aaron. What do you think? They're not all seeing this? They're like, you know, these people don't give a shit. They, they, <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? We're doing this to them. We're doing that to them. We're doing this. And they're not complaining and they don't care. So the question is, I used to always give this analogy. It's called the robbing the bank and not getting caught analogy. If you rob a bank one time and you don't get in any trouble, would you rob it the second time? Of course you would, right? Imagine there was no repercussions. You got no trouble. You rob the bank a second time. You didn't get in any trouble. No one's complaining. Would you rob a bank a third time? Of course you would. Would you rob a bank a fourth time, a fifth time? Probably uh, an unlimited amount of times. If you didn't get any in any trouble, no one was noticing. No one was complaining, correct? Okay. It's the same exact analogy and situation with AMC. If nobody is going to complain, if nobody is going to stand up and fight for their rights, then most likely the corruption and the fuckery is going to continue. And it might even continue to a point where it passes. There was a song, an expose, called Point of No Return, okay? <laughs> you know, I think that was in the 80s or so. You know what I mean? Once you reach that point of no return, there's no turning back. So we haven't reached. See, this is what I'm trying to make all of you understand. We haven't reached a point of no return. There is still a way to win. There is still a way for V for victory, but we have to act. But I don't see anybody acting. I don't, do you? I've asked people, I said, if you're interested in boycotting AMC, I said, you know what? At least make a video. How about this? All right. I, I'm trying to understand. There's always something with people. It's a, okay, so what is it? You, you don't want to spend the money at Regal? Is that what it is? I'm just trying to understand what it is. Like, what's holding you back from making a video, at least? At least making a video expressing. But it's like, I just feel like I get frustrated. And sometimes I have to be honest with you. I get mad at retail. I get mad at retail, and I'll tell you the reason why. Because it's like, I, it's why people have asked me, why don't you want to go to the Marines protest? You want me to tell you the truth? I'm going to tell you the truth. I support the Marine, and I think he is a tremendous ape with diamond balls of steel. I love the guy. I respect what he's doing. I just don't know the level of seriousness of the apes. I don't know the retailer. I don't see. Look, I know for a fact people don't want to protest because you want to know what it is. I did it myself. And a lot of people gave me all these excuses, you know, whatever, I have to work, uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't afford to come to the protest. I think a lot of it has to do the truth. Okay, the truth is, I think most people co probably come up with a couple of hundred bucks, okay, to, uh, you know, to travel. It's not that much if you, I mean, I don't think it's that much. You know what I mean? Okay, even if it was 500 bucks, I'd be like, I spent that on a dinner. I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. I don't think that was the real reason. I think the real reason is people don't want to lose their jobs. They felt Citadel was going to infiltrate the event. Uh, they're afraid they're going to get shot. You know, God forbid, because this is a crazy world we're living in right now. And you're dealing with the devil. You know what I mean? You're dealing with, you know, people who, who want to see the apes look bad or want to see the apes get in trouble. I understand that. So I reconsidered it. I, I said to myself, you know, I get why people don't want to protest, but I don't get why people don't want to boycott. I have to be honest with you. Now it's just you're being you're being cheap. You want me to just say it right to your face? What is it? You don't want to spend a couple of bucks at, at Regal? Is that what it is? You don't want to do that? You don't want to go to a movie at Regal and you don't want to spend, I don't know, $20, $30 a movie tickets? You don't want to do that? You don't want to do that? <laughs> you don't want to buy popcorn and pretzels? too much money for you how much are you down on amc let me ask you a question does it make any sense to you if a person is down a hundred thousand dollars or in my case over two hundred thousand dollars you wouldn't want to spend 
I don't know, 50 bucks or whatever it's going to be to make a statement, to make a point to Adam Aaron that we're not going to take his BS no more, that he's not going to do a 10 for 1 re reverse stock split, not on our watch. Okay? You're not going to put the knife to the belly. Again, it's not a real knife. Knife is action meaning boycotting AMC, making videos, addressing it to Adam Aaron, and then the belly is AMC's revenue. And let me tell you something. See, now people are like, oh, I don't want to hurt AMC because it's going to even hurt my investment further. Get it. Guys, it, it, you sound so stupid, all of you. No offense, you sound retarded. You sound like you have the brains of a squirrel. Look at what they're doing to us. People are down, in some cases, over 90% in their investment. They're looking to take 90% of our shares away. Will they short us again? Probably, most likely, down to the oblivion. And then what are you going to say? It's like, I don't know. I I don't know what it is. I think all of you are living in like a friggin' fantasy world. I think you're all living in a world where you think that everything is going to be effing handed to you. And you don't understand that nobody gives a shit about you in this world. Nobody gives a shit about me in this world. Okay? They only care about themselves, these 1% mother effers. That's all. It's about taking money from retail. That's it. That's what it's about. And if we allow it, and we don't stand up, and we don't... And again, legally. I'm talking about legally. I'm not talking about doing anything... I'm not, I am not an advocate of anything that is not legal. I am not an advocate of anything that does not, you know, follow the Constitution of the United States of America. I'm saying within our rights, okay? But the thing is, nobody seems like they want to be bothered. Nobody seems like they want to do anything. And that is the exact reason why I think we're in this shape, if you want me to tell you the truth. It's like we're just sitting there waiting for the Mike Tyson knockout punch to hit us in the jaw. And, and that's it. And I just think that people are going to be like, all right, let's move on to the next. You know, we lost 90% of our money. Now, no, that's, see, that's why I decided to only be invested right now in one company. Okay, AMC. Because it, what's the point of investing more in this corrupt stock market? I mean, that's why I look from time to time, I'll take a very small amount of money, like with that COSM. I took like $500, I turned it into 2000 and I was out. As soon as I made my $1,500, bucks, i am out. And you know what? There's times I might do other things. I, I, I tried that MMTLP. I don't want to get into that, though. I know the people are trying to be optimistic in some ways now, but, you know, we're, 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 we're next bridge. But I don't want to go there. I don't even want to go there because I'm disgusted. I'm just disgusted in general with this stock market. I'm disgusted. Disgusted. So that's why I'm focusing all my attention on AMC. Because I want to make a difference. This is a movement to me. I want to make a difference. But I can't do it alone. I'm only one person. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only.